Well, guys, me, Oscar, and Duke, and Daisy are heading over here to do some air conditioners. To G uh, get my Kubota model numbers and see, they're G1, let's see. No, they're M135GXs, that's what they are. And both of them, the vapor cores are completely rotted out on them. I pressure checked them with nitrogen and they were just pouring out of there. And then once I show you these evaporator cores, you won't believe what they charge for those things. $984 a piece. So we got two grand almost in two evaporators. And the receiver dryers, they wanted, uh, they were 260, so there's 500 and some dollars, and $10 or $20 or whatever, and, and uh, receiver dryers. So pretty crazy what they want for this stuff anymore. This is Indian Tom Lake. Probably have to change the name of that lake because that'll be politically correct now. You can't you can't name it that. That that's that's gonna offend somebody. <laughs> Somebody's got to be pissed off somewhere in the country. <laughs> oh shit! I'm sorry. I just get a I I get a kick out of listening to some of this stuff I watch on YouTube and on TV, especially TV. I mean, the, the TV thing, I, I come in there and watch some of the stuff that my daughter's watching on TV, and I said, girl, what are you watching? And, you know, and it's just a bunch of Fruit Loop weird shit. But anyway, I'm getting off on a tangent again. We're gonna go out here and, and do these ACs. I got a 7520 John Deere we're gonna look at while we're out here too. Uh, so, uh, um, the case backhoe, while we're driving out here, I'll tell you a little bit about that one. There's one of those Kubotas that we're going to come back to, but I already got the one out of the feedlot way out here torn apart that I'm going to go ahead and fix. But this is, I'm pretty sure, they got a 126X too. That is that the 126 or is that the uh, 130 GX? Can't tell what it is. I think that's the, yeah, that's the 126. Well, that ain't it. I gotta find the other 135 GX. I know where the one is because I got it torn apart out here, but anyways, So, that case backhoe, I, my local dealer over in Medford, Central Equipment, I get the whole parts list, I get on their website through case, you know, case parts CE, construction equipment parts, and I write down all the part numbers and the quantities I want, and I he, uh, email them to him over there, and he calls me back the next day, and he says, $24,800 for the parts. And I said, are you sure that's right? You sure you don't have a, a zero on the wrong spot or something? <laughs> what? You sure it's not $2,480? And anyways, he said, no, that's what it is. And then he, he says, uh, he says a reman transmission is 23,000. So I called guy that I met on YouTube here. His name's Jim, back in PA. He worked for Case for like 10 or 12 years, I think. And He said, that doesn't sound right to me. Well, anyways, me and him both were trying to do some research on both ends. And Anyways, I I did a lot of legwork, calling around, searching, internet searching, and I, I got a hold of a guy in Snohomish, Washington that does, that's a Clark four-speed power shift. So I got a hold of this guy that says HD transaxle for Clark powertrain. And he said, well, all I do is the rear ends and stuff like that, the axles. He said, call this outfit called EM West, EM West powertrain. 
They are a Clark Transmission Rebuild Service Center and Parts Distributor. So, in between calling EM West, you know, and that, I'd already called some other outfits that said, like Palmer Johnson Power Systems. And that guy, he was really helpful, but I don't know, he was looking at the wrong stuff or something because he said that all those parts for that Clark transmission, he could get the frictions and bearings, but he, he said any hard parts, he said they've been discontinued. And I said, dude, those Super L backhoes are not that old. You're telling me they're, they're discontinuing parts for backhoes that are 10 years old and 12 years old? Really? So anyway, uh, I get all this EM West and those guys, right off the gate, the parts guy, his name is Chris, very knowledgeable. He goes, yeah, you got a T16000 series. And he goes, yeah, we're rebuilding one right now. I said, well, they're telling me parts aren't available. Then I tell them what case quoted me. And he goes, well, we'll, we'll get you all the parts for probably a third of the price. And it was, he was, he was, it was way less than a third. <laughs> uh, Anyways, I got everything that I originally ordered or was going to order from Case. I gave him the, he sent me the Dana Clark Spicer numbers. So, oh shit, that's rough. But he sent me all those numbers, so I had to go through the whole parts list again and write down everything I needed. And I got everything, torque converter, torque converter, uh, charge pump, all new friction steels, all new bearings, uh, one whole shaft and drum assembly for that one pack, all new snap rings for 40, I think it ended up being 4,480 bucks for everything. There were three items that were overseas and they were snap rings. And I said, well, they can't be that heavy. Let's not wait 10 to 14 days because they had a 10 to 14 day lead time on them. I said, let's just hurry up and get those over here. We'll pay the freight. So I think it was a little more, a little more. Oh, I got to talk to this guy. I'll be right back. Well, I was the wrong guy. Too many Ford pickups around here the same color. Um, I thought it was the guy that was the manager over here anyway. Uh, anyways, we got all those parts that it, uh, real way way cheaper than what those guys did so those parts are on their way uh, some of them were back east I think in South Carolina or something so they had to ship those but uh, hopefully next week I'm hoping to have everything here and we can start rebuilding that car four speed power ship and putting it back together it's like these evaporator cores for this Kubota. When she told me over the phone there when I ordered them how much they were, uh, I about shit down my leg. But uh, anyways, I got a, I already fed the puppy dogs their three uh, pepperoni sticks. Oh. My wife, she took off to, with my daughter to one of their goat shows and then uh, I had to go do my parts fetch of the day so anyhow I'll see you when we get out there I gotta feed uh, the dogs well I'm gonna feed myself I got a couple burritos there I stopped at the Mac store there in the gal made me a couple homemade burritos that I haven't got a chance to eat yet but once I get out to the feed lot there I'll we'll start scarfing them burritos down there and we'll get to work There's the old one there. 984 bucks. Be shitting me, dude. Comes with the expansion valve already on it. There's $984. Throw 
that on there so the wind don't blow it across the prairie here. Okay, I gotta go get the seed out of it to where I can get things situated and get the plate off. I laid all that kind of back in there. Let's see, what did I do with that seat the other day? I just threw it up here. Yeah, and it's a lot of work just to get to this point, too. That's gonna be a pain in the ass. Oh, these seats, they kind of suck. You just throw them up there and hopefully it don't... See if I can get her balanced somewhat decently and pull this plate back out of it. and just pull it outside for now out of my way <sighs> okay do I need to blow anything out here before I I clean this thing out really good yeah, last uh, winter, so the heaters would work. I mean, them O-rings look great, actually. There's, I mean, these tractors don't even have very many hours on them, but... Let's, uh... Let's take a little bit of PAG. Oil. Come on guys, come on. Come on. Don't go too far. Where's the wiener dog? I'll get my ass skinned if I lose him. Out here. Come on. Oscar! I see him over there. Come on. Come on, Oscar. Come on, bud. Yeah, I might as well just not go home. And I gotta pour some oil in the evaporator, a couple ounces. I gotta go find my ounce deal. And then the new receiver dryer, pour, we'll pour four ounces in and that'll get us where we need to be. Just figure on, you know, total system charge. Say two ounces for the compressor, two ounces for the receiver dryer, two ounces for the hoses, two ounces for the condenser. You know, eight ounces, eight, 10 ounces right in there what I've always done kind of general rule of thumb okay I'm gonna get my ducks in a row here I got some about two ounces poured in this all right so I don't need the allen head bolts I just basically need to stick this down in here and there's my see here. I wonder if a guy can tell how close that one was on the old one. Where it was at. I don't remember. You can see the two marks right there in the core where it was. Uh. It's about halfway down the core. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen rows over. put it Did 
I screw up there or what? It's got a recess there where it goes over that, so they go in there like that. Okay. Dummy. Nice job there, Dummy. And then before I completely button it up, I'm going to put a vacuum on it. Let's run it off the welder. Check our vacuum. We'll have to pull a 30 minute vacuum on it. I might go ahead and stick this on there. And I got to put the receiver dryer on it though before I put the vacuum on it. Okay, let's plug this in. I think that's our de icing switch, is what that is. Phillips screws, those Allens, they went in the original, I gotta tighten that up, let's tighten that up, get a Phillips screwdriver, ah. way too big for what I need to be doing. Ten millimeter. And be honest with you, this is a really, really dry climate. And I'll be completely honest with you, half the time I don't even put a uh, a thirty minute vacuum. I'll do about 10, 15 minutes. It's really, really dry climate out here. Now, if I was down in Redding, with the humidity and all that, hell yeah, you better do it, or you'll regret it. But never had too many issues with that up here. It's so dry. You don't really get a lot of moisture in the system, but I mean, sometimes if, if I got the time and I'm really, I can do it, I, I do it if I can. Like right now, I'm gonna do it. I mean, I got the time, so we're here. Drove all the way out here, you might as well do it, but I've had customers standing right there and I've told them, you want to sit here and wait for 30, 45 minutes for the vacuum or do you want to, you know, charge the dirty bastard and get going? What's it going to do? I said, well, I tell them it's a pretty damn dry climate. I haven't really had any problems, but I just tell them, you know, if you want it done that way, then it's on you if it builds moisture in the system and destroys it. Daisy, where's the wiener dog? That dang wind is not very good. I don't like the wind. I'm gonna have to find another load of tractor so I can do it. Okay, we got one. 
one screw here. They're all in there, so where the fuck did this one go? Hmm. Okay. A little bit odd. I don't know. I'm gonna blow all this out too before I put it together. Ah! Mm. Let's find out where our. Uh... All right, so little vacuum pump make sure it's level. I've had this thing for a lot of years. Crack that. Let it turn it on. Good tight system. Down to uh, let's see here. All right at 25 inches of vacuum at this elevation, that's about right. We're just gonna let this run on here for a while. And then I'm gonna start putting this cab back together. I'm pretty confident when I gotta when I pull that much of a vacuum that I'm probably okay. We can also we can also do this too. Let's just uh let's see here. Can we shut that? See if it holds here. And the reason I shut that, those valves here, in case I have a leak between here and there, it isolates it. She's holding good. So we got a pretty tight system. Let's go ahead and open her back up. Let's put a vacuum on her. Pretty quick. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna fire the truck up, build some air, and blow this all out before I put the plate back on. I think that's supposed to go behind that panel. That ain't right. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Right there.
truck too. I need to do some air conditioning work on as well. That time of the year. I'm glad to get the seat back in, bolted in. I can put the seat on next. Let's get these tightened down here and we'll throw the seat on it and then we can put all that crap back in there. Getting fairly good at tearing these apart now. I'm getting used to them a little bit. Wiener, what are you doing? What are you doing, wieners? Alrighty. those in yet there so I get the shit I might have screwed up there too where's that plate at I might have to put those in yeah I need to do it huh that can't be right yeah I gotta I gotta take this here that's underneath that. Take these two back out. And this is going to go up. Break. Troublesome there. Oh, that's the wrong damn size. That's why. That's why it don't fit. Wrong size bolt there, dumb shit. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that hole. Line it up right. Damn. 
That's what it was right there, I think. It was like that. Makes life a lot easier getting that seat aired up to where you can get underneath it. Just make sure you're not pinching any wires. Oh, that's 100% better. Okay, it was already one of these nuts was already missing on the seat, so.
so I just see if the blower motors and all that stuff turn on, huh? Probably might be a bad idea. Okay.
Tea break. Okay, it says I'm gonna go kilograms. Okay. side static target really hot outside you can almost static target and get everything you want in there but we're gonna get close here 1.0 kilogram is what the accumulator says over there or receiver dryer damn we're gonna be close huh Clutch kicks on, see if there's any other problems. He's on. Clutch is turning. Take it a while to get everything circulated. I'd like to see my high side pressure come up a little more than that. I'm pretty cold. Yeah, it's actually blowing really cold.
be honest with you, I've been doing this a long time and going by weight isn't always the perfect thing. Sometimes you have to fine tune them. I don't know man, it's blowing really cold. I might just leave it alone. Yeah, it's blowing real cold. Let's just shut the door. Put a little bit more in it. Well, now my high side pressure's coming up. That's what I want to see right there. We'll just probably, I'll add this a little bit more. I think we're gonna be just fine. That's what I wanna see, my high side pressure's coming up now. Oh yeah, that'll run you out of here. That's really nice. There should be no whining on that part. No whining or complaining there. All right, well, I'll let it run for a while. Let's check our pressures again. Gail up here on the planter, I don't know what the hell she's doing, taking a nap or something. She pulled up there and she was, I think she was drilling or something, but I don't know what the hell she's doing. She just parked up there and jumped in her fucking car and sitting there. What the hell she's doing? That son of a bitch is blowing cold. That's, I'm happy. That's what I want to see. 25 on the low side and 150. 